it was just my dream horse. I owned her for five months, maybe six. And then the war has started in my country. I had to leave uh, the city. I couldn't think about my horse at the time because it was really chaos. A lot of people were escaping the city just to save uh, our lives because we were told that Russian tanks are already like 30 minutes from our city. There was no way to evacuate my horse immediately with me. So I decided to leave her at the horse club. The owner of that horse club, he stayed in the city. He said that he will take care after my horse. I truly thought that I will come back uh, home like in two weeks, but it never happened. I dreamed about getting back to my horse to see Helvetica because I really missed her. From time to time I received uh, videos and photos and reports about Helvetica's condition. Everything was uh, fine for one year, but then the situation in our horse club uh, started to get worse. The legal owner of the horse club, he had to also escape the city because it started to be really dangerous for him. This autumn 2023 I received a photo from my horse and I saw that she is really in poor condition. She is very thin. I started to look for all possible solutions. How can I evacuate horse from occupied region? There are no humanitarian borders even for humans. I found one man who already evacuated some horses from also occupied region. I was very determined to save my horse, so we started a fundraising campaign. Everything was uh, prepared and uh, that man, he uh, went to occupied region to take my horse. But that was one failed try because something unexpected happened. The Russian administration, they learned that I want to save my horse. When the man came to take my horse, they called for police, for soldiers, and they started to quarrel with the driver and said that we want this horse. We are not allowing to give you this horse. I don't have any rights in the occupied regions. They had guns and they just said, no, this horse will stay in the occupied region. So the driver had to come back with empty car and it was devastating. I didn't want to give up on this. In the end of the December 23, a real miracle has happened. I received a call that the administration had changed a little bit. We used this moment to take my horse. It was a miracle that she was loaded like in a minute. The driver came, she just went into a car with no problems, with no fear, and she was calm. Feels like she knew that she will be soon with me. I want to think in this way. <laughs> I was very relieved because it was really nearly impossible and I really even lost my faith that we will manage to do it. She was really exhausted when she came to Poland, but everything was fine. When I received a call that everything was okay, all these emotions just came to me. I was nearly to cry because I was so, so happy. In January 24, I came to Poland to meet her. It was the moment of our reunion. It was really just hard to realize that she is here. My dream came true that we managed to do it, that she is safe now. We were very happy because I haven't seen my horse for two years and I have been waiting for this moment since the beginning of the war. So I was very happy to see her. I felt like she is happy too. I just want to spend every day, every time with her and just to give her a happy life that she deserves. It gives hope that everything can go better.